Okay, I know I'm producing way too much content, and it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna get rid of subscribers. I'm sorry, but I don't really have any loyalty to the subscribers, and if the subscribers don't have loyalty to me, just keep in mind that I don't really have any loyalty either. I mean, I don't. That's not what this is all about. You either listen to it or you don't. And I'm not saying screw you or anything. I'm just saying that. Um, that it really, it, thank you for the subscriptions, but that's really not necessary. It'll, only if you want it, that's fine. Uh, I'm not seeing much anymore. I think I will see some. I'm not like a chicken in, uh, playing tic-tac-toe that's got electric field below me that's making me move or dance or whatever it is that. I'm not a dog doing tricks. I'm not a one-trick pony either. I just... Uh, I I don't expect... I, I, I think Celebrity ended with uh, the, the Star Network, the broad systems. I think now we're just peer-to-peer. -peer. We're basically just this... Just this... We're, we're going to become a a big old starfish network I'll, you know and like starfishes i mean cuz that's the nature of the internet the internet people see the internet as being like this backbone and then this protocol that permits people to permits people to connect to each other in a peer to peer fashion the way to think about the internet is is that every single computer is like a starfish or every single network is like a starfish. You caught off an arm here, it grows it elsewhere. Um, that's the nature of the internet. If the boat, if a, if you dropped a nuclear bomb and it destroyed our backbone system or the stuff that's permitting us all talk across the globe, some ham operator would connect us up, or some number of ham operators would connect us up through the ham radio system and we'd get our connection through there. Um, that's how the internet, it was really designed to permit um, communications in the event of a nuclear attack. And why? Because it's not a broadcast style network. It's not Spoke Hub. It's not, and Spoke Hub was what made Hollywood and radio and TV uh, work is you had broadcasting antennas and people had their antennas on their TVs and they were the receivers and, and the television stations were the broadcasters. They brought, they sent out the signal, the TVs picked it up, same with radio. They, they send out the, the signal, the antenna, and our radios pick it up and we get our information that way. And that's the way you create celebrity is you have somebody there that's, in front of the TV or on the radio and everybody experiences it. But now that we're peer, on a peer-to-peer -peer network, you can't maintain that. It, it won't work that way. It's that whole method of, of um, cele that celebrity effect is going to go away. And what you're going to end up having is just people, basically everybody becomes a teacher. Everybody becomes like an instructor, and the and the world becomes a college. I mean, the internet is becomes a college, and everybody is both students and instructors. See, and so that's essentially what's happening here. And if we have some sort of um, apocalyptic thing happen, then we turn into small community we turn into tribes we all become tribes and then we end up surviving on whatever it is we can find in our area and sharing it and uh, and we're completely disconnected from the rest of the other tribes that are around but in any case we survive in some form but you know don't don't see the internet as um, as a certainty. Don't see going into space on the 
the surface of Mars or on the moon as certainty. Don't see the future that you are going to be living in a big house with a car of your choice as certainty. That we're living in uncertain times. There's uncertainty. There's no certainty here. We, we're basically standing on quicksand. And we could get sucked into this, to whatever it is that occurs in the future. And the best thing we can do is hang on to something so that we don't seek into it. Okay? And so the thing you hang on to if you're a Christian is the belief and the hope. Or you hang on to a friend. Friends hang on to friends. As long as you have somebody to hang on to, you're not going to float away. You're not going to float in. You're not going to get sucked into something. And so that's that's how we survive through this, is by holding on to each other. Because things are going to... Because we're all on the whole world, everywhere, right now. Because the uncertain times, we're in quicksand. 